let's get started so the first thing you want to do is to bring in your image for me is my favorite footballer cristiano ronaldo cr7 once we have it in our timeline we're going to click on it wait for it to load up so now it's on our timeline the very first thing we want to do is to go over to max we want to max it that is the very first thing you do so now that you have max you want to click on mirror okay we are going to be adding keyframe to it but before then i'd like to reduce this okay to the minimum and then i'll turn this just slightly to the left like that and i'm going to reduce it put something like that right and i'm going to inc increase the blend increase the blend Okay, so we have something like this you don't want to overdo it it's going to show the whole image you just want to do it a little and then i'll completely take this out of frame and yeah i'll put my first keyframe and then i'll move from left to right to the end of the image and i will also move from top to bottom with this so that adds automatically another keyframe as you can see it this we're not done we're just gonna show you how it looks just without the borders around you have to enhance it to make it better right so this is just the first step let's play the first step and you see it that's the first step the next thing we want to do is to add effect to it very important we'll add effect cool effect that will make it pop so I'm going to be adding two effects. This will be my first one. Just drag it on top, not above, inside of it, like that. And then you see we have that great effect going up there. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now we're going to add the fire sand also into the it. So now I have two effects in it. And now if I play it, this is what we get all right so you see now to add the final touch to it all we need to do is to go to audio you know you have to put that cinematic audio to make it stand out right so we're going to come to audio and we'll just search for action please be careful not to select this copyrighted soundtrack so it's advisable to always get your soundtrack for um from outside from this i'm just going to use this sound soundtrack action and i'm just gonna find one okay so i like this one let's bring it in all right so now we have this we have it we'll just cut it where it needs to end right so it needs to end here so we do control b cut it out and we are left with the video and the sound so we're just gonna play it from beginning and this is how it feels